to I want to share a scripture with you this morning, but it's a bit of a paraphrase. I will use a little bit of liberty so that we can get the meaning of what we're looking at today. Romans 15, 5 through 7 says, May God give you the mind that Jesus had so that you may glorify God. So accept others as Jesus accepted you. Are you inclusive or exclusive? And that might seem like a weird question. So what I'm really asking you, are you a person that is known for being hospitable? Or are you a person that is known for being particular about the type of people that you let come around you? Look, don't get me wrong. There is a time and a place that we have to stand up for the truth. And when we do that many times, it may make others feel excluded because they don't know where we're coming from or they don't understand the truth that is operating in our life. But we want to be a people of hospitality. We want to be a people that draw others to ourselves. You know, if you're a believer that is unable to draw unbelievers towards you, something is amiss. Something is wrong because Jesus has designed us to be people who draw others unto him, who draw others to see what Christ is doing in our life. You know, truth without grace can be a harsh master. It can be something that creates a barrier between others around us and God. The truth can be used as a hammer, and we don't want to be the hammering type with the truth. We want to be able to mix it with grace, where the truth spoken at the right moment really ministers to somebody's life, really ministers to the point where they are. So how can we do that? Number one, be transparent. Inviting others into your way of life allows them to see how God's working in your life. Don't be somebody that hides God and Christ in your life under a pillow. Don't be somebody that hides God away because you don't want people to see that part of your life. Be transparent. Let people know that Jesus is a part of your life. Let people know that Jesus is working in your life because when they see him work, they'll know it comes from him and not necessarily just comes from you. Second, be generous. When you see somebody in need, help them. When you see a need, meet a need because that ministers the love of Christ to others. God is anything. If God if God is anything, he is generous. So be generous to others because it demonstrates the life of Christ to those who are in need. And lastly, don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget that at one point you were broken and hopeless. So when you see someone that is broken and ho hopeless, don't hold that against them. Don't judge them. Don't be harsh with them because brokenness and hopelessness is where Christ found you. So when you see someone else who's broken and hopeless, you know the Christ that's in you is the one that can deliver them, the one that can be, bring freedom to them. You know, we've been included because Jesus included us. Invite others to come along on your journey. God bless you.